Hey guys, welcome to the Crypto Miner Bros YouTube channel. This is a specific how-to video on how to set up an Ice River AL0. This is a, an Alephium ASIC miner from Ice River. Thank you to Crypto Miner Bros. If you guys are interested in any other ASIC miners, go check them out. Link down below, use code REDPANDA for $70 off. Okay, so when you receive your Ice River AL0, it's gonna come in a box just like this, and there's gonna be nice foam padding inside. It's the AL0 will be in this part here, and if you order the power supply, it'll show up in that part right there. So nicely foam packaged for the Ice River AL0 here. So now let's talk about some specifics before we set this up. So if you ordered a power supply with your AL0, it's going to be one of these laptop style power bricks, okay? And the one that came with mine is a 120 watt power brick, laptop power supply, and the end, in terms of powering the AL0, is going to be utilizing something called a barrel plug, okay? 2.5 millimeter barrel plug, okay? It's going to look like, just like this. So then the other side, depending on if you are in North America or in, the, in Europe or UK, then this one here, this one's for North American style plugs just like this that go into there. Then if you are in UK, you're gonna be getting this style plug, okay? So just be mindful of which one you are ordering. As well, if you decide not to order a power supply with your AL0, then you're gonna need to find an alternative. Then you can also get the HP server PSU breakout style, breakout board style method where you can use a veteran miner six pin to barrel plug PCIe cable like this, okay? So this is gonna plug into the AL0 like so. But just be mindful with these types of cables, you're not gonna want to overclock. Oh, you can't overclock on these either anyway because these are only 120 watts. This miner takes about 100 watts, okay, at uh, 400 giga hash mining a lithium. So just be mindful of that. So that's your power supply uh, solutions here. So this is a great little home style miner for a lithium. All right, so let's get started plugging it all in and we are going to start mining. I'm going to show you guys how to set this up on a mining pool and show you where to get your wallet and such. Okay, so we just plugged in the barrel plug from the laptop power brick. Next, we're going to want to plug in the ethernet. Okay, so you're going to need wired internet for this AL zero okay so that's very important unfortunately this does not have wi-fi capability so just wired internet make sure you have network connectivity for your al0 or any other asic miner that you decide to buy and then next we're just gonna plug her in so i got my nema plug here gonna plug it into the wall for 120 volt and it should start booting up Okay, and looks like we got some light already, light activity there. Okay, then the next step, we're gonna go into the computer and we're gonna find the IP address of this so that we can log into the web GUI of this AL0, the website, okay? So that we can configure our wallet and worker name and also the mining pool, and then that's it. <laughs> Pretty easy to get this mining Alephium. So I'll see you guys in the computer. Okay, we are now on just a typical Windows computer. You can use a Mac too if you have, uh, you know, just any PC, laptop that's gonna be on the same network as your iServer AL0, okay? So I'm using a freeware software called Advanced IP Scanner. Alternatively, if you are comfortable logging into your router, your router, your home router, where you can see DHCP list and then you can find the IP address of your iServer uh, AL0 that way. But I'm using a free IP advanced IP scanner here on Google here. Just Google advanced IP scanner. Hit scan and it's going to scan your network for all the devices that are running. So I only have a couple here and it says Ice River on the name. So that's obviously the AL0 here. So you're going to copy the IP address here 10.100.100.125. In your case it may be 192.168.0. something. So yeah just, just be mindful of that. Then you're gonna go to any web browser and then at the top, you're gonna paste that into the top here. 10, 100, 100 for me. Hit enter and it's gonna bring you to the web page of the login page for the AL0. So the default username and password is gonna be admin and then password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One through eight is the password. 
You're gonna hit login, and it's gonna take you into the main web GUI of the AL0, okay? So now, next thing, you're gonna go into mining setting on the top left here, tab on the left here. Then this is where we're gonna set up our pool configuration, pool address, the worker name, a wallet and such, password, which we don't really need password. Uh, but we now need to figure out which mining pool and wallet, okay? So wallet is very important. That's probably the first thing that you are gonna need. So depending on whichever project you are mining, such as, let's say, Alephium, you can go to their main website and they will explain, you know, which wallets are available, such as a desktop wallet or an extension wallet or a mobile wallet. So this is what you'll install if you wanna do it on your phone. Highly recommend doing it on a brand, like an older phone that you're not using, that has nothing else on it, you know, freshly wiped, and you just want to have it that way. And do not install anything else just to keep it safe, as well as desktop wallet. For Lithium is pretty nice as well. But for me, personally, I've been using the iOS app uh, for uh, the Lithium. okay? And so once you install it, then you can get your receiving address here, back up your seed phrase and whatnot, do all that. So once you have your Alephium wallet, okay, your receiving address, then you're going to want to go back to the AL0 here and you're going to want to paste that into the wallet portion here. Okay, so once you have that, just paste it in there. Okay, it's going to look just like this or I'll do it from the beginning like this. Okay, then you're going to need to distinguish a worker name for this so that you can see it on the mining pool. So you're going to type in period and then AL0, AL1, okay, you can, whatever name you want, you can put anything you like. So if I had multiple of these, maybe I'll do AL02, 03, 04, and so on. Uh, but now, once you have that in, okay, you're gonna copy this whole string, select it all, copy, right, control C for me, and then we're gonna highlight all this and also paste it here. Okay, so we wanna make sure we have it, the same thing on all three of these wallet and worker names. Okay, that's very important. Now, we're gonna enter in our mining pool, and for this example, there are many different mining pools out there for mining Alephium, but one of my favorites recently is Cryptex.com. Uh, I really like their web GUI and just looking at all the features and stuff here. So now, when you go to a typical mining pool like Cryptex.com, for instance, you're gonna see Alephium, okay? So then you're gonna wanna hit start, start mining, all right? And then you're gonna see that there are a few different mining pool pools here which can also act as a backup as well. So if you're in the US, we're gonna copy this pool address right here. We're gonna go back to our Ice River AL0 here, go and paste it into uh, here, okay? All right, so that is for mining to Cryptex. Now, there's also backup pools here as well, Asia and Brazil, okay? You can also Enter these in as well, just to have a backup mining pool in case some of these stratums goes down. You can copy the Brazil one as well. Paste it into the pool address number three right there. So once you have all three of these in, once you set up your pool, got your worker wallet names here, now password, this can be anything. One, two, three, can be X. Uh, I just do X on each one, all right? It's optional, so hit save now. And that is it, it is now mining to Cryptex, okay? And uh, for this example, I already have it connected uh, to my pool here. You can see AL01, all right? And it's already been mining there, uh, 404 giga hash, and it's been going just fine. There's a lot of nice metrics here. You can see your balance, unconfirmed balance, average hash rate, your payouts, you know, every time, uh, how, mu how much, you know, Alephium that you're getting every single day. So this is pretty cool. And then, yeah, that's it, okay? So that's how you guys see your mining pool and also you're getting your AL0 to mine. Okay, I'll see you right back out. Okay, so there we go. It's successfully mining now to the Cryptex pool and you can see it's taking about 116 watts here for me at 105 volt. All right, so this is the power brick that, uh, yeah, it's nice. That, that this is running just perfect now. Okay guys, so that concludes the how to set up an Ice River AL0. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Thank you again to Crypto Miner Bros. 
Link down below if you guys are interested in their ASIC miners. A lot of them in stock and good pricing as well. All in shipping and DDP to your door as well. Coupon code REDPANDA for $70 off. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.